Okay, so we got the Optima V2 pistol from CVA, 50 caliber, got a True Glow red dot on it, just a little cheap red dot. It may not be able to handle the muzzleloader, but we're going to try it. And I was going to see if I could sight it in. Today, I've shot it a few times, but I've never really sighted it in, so we're going to try to sight it in today and see how that goes. But shooting a Blackhorn 209, the label's not on, 250 grain Hornady SSTs, using a Winchester 209 primer, and I loaded up some of these here. They got 70 grains by volume of powder of that Blackhorn 209, so that's just where I'm starting at. I don't know where it'll end up, but that's where we're going to start at. So I'm going to go ahead and load it up here. patch through it just so it's the same every time that I shoot it here I like to uh, use this one-eighth drill bit and just go through this right here. Just kind of clean it out just so that fire holes not got anything in the way. It packs quite a punch for a pistol. so. It thumps pretty hard with 70 grains in there. I'm gonna go ahead and try another one. The plan is to try to shoot a deer with it. I don't know. I get all these things planning on shooting deer and then I always go back to whatever I was using before so but we're gonna try to get a deer kill with this muzzleloader pistol this year so here goes shot number three and then we'll go check it and see where it looks like they're at That's the three shots right here, there, there, and there. About, a, I don't know, probably a two and a half inch group. I was trying to hit right here, so it's looking like it's hitting a little to the right. I'm pretty sure that group could get better. But, that's a good start. So I don't know if I should change the powder load or not. So 50 yards or so, got about a two and a half inch group. I'm gonna adjust for left and right real quick. 
and then I'm gonna fire a couple more shots with 70 grains in it the same that I had just see what happens see if it can get in the center of that and if I get it close to the center I think I'll probably call that good give it eight clicks so we'll see where that puts us as far as the gun itself is very nice I like the gun a lot it works just like a CVA brake action muzzle loader. there's nothing different about it except for it's got a little barrel and a pistol grip on it the trigger is money like that trigger is nice in this gun it feels perfect recoil is not terrible but it's not good either which all these muzzle loaders pack a pretty good punch but I'm gonna run another patch through it here and take a couple more shots with 70 grains see how that goes I don't want to get too low on the powder charge because I still want to be able to hunt with it and it not be weak I don't know exactly how much would be considered not enough. I like to fill it up a little above the line and then tap it to seat the powder down in that tube really good. Make sure it's all level across through there so I know I'm getting very close to the same charge every time. Looks like just a hair too much. There's 70 in it. It looked like CVA recommended a, uh, a power belt bullet, but I have heard some bad stuff about power belt bullets for deer, so I didn't I didn't know if I'd want to use that, which I still don't know. I've shot a couple deer with a Hornady SST and I've killed them, but I've never shot anything with a pistol like this. So I don't really know what to expect, but if I can get a, a doe within about, or a buck, within 50, 60 yards, I think I'm definitely gonna try to take her with this. It's definitely starting to thump my hand pretty good. One more, and then we'll go check it and see where they hit. Here's our second two shots. Those are about an inch apart here. First three were over here, so I took it to the left. Eight clicks. I'm going to come back four, and I'm going to go. I'm going to leave it where it is. I'm going to come back four clicks. Up and down, I'm going to call good, because if it's hitting a little bit high at 50 yards, that's no big deal. Before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and put four clicks back in it. And this scope is not, probably not ideal for accuracy out through there, but it should be good enough for deer hunting for sure. Um, it just has no magnification. and You can be off an inch or two inches down there and not really even know it. So we'll run up there and check the target and see where that one went. So there's our shot after moving it back a little. Right here. 
and I'm looking for something to get right here. So I'm gonna take it over two more clicks. Go ahead and put them two clicks to the right, see where they go. Hopefully this one's it. This one right here, we're going for the money. So right here is our last shot. And that is pretty good. I think I'm gonna call that good. 50 yards. First three on the right was my first three shots. Then I had those two moved, had that bottom one, moved it again and had that top one. And I think that's about a half inch high and about a half inch to the left, but I think that's probably good. I'll put one more click to the right in it. Put this one more click in the right, or going to the right. I'll click it one time right, and then that's, I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna get it inside, cleaned up, and let it set for the next few months until muzzleloader season. Hopefully we get to try it out on a deer. Which from that, from how it shot right there, it shouldn't be a, a problem to kill a deer with. But things do happen. Overall review of the gun, I think it's pretty good. Um, trigger is just, I couldn't ask for a better trigger in it. And overall, it, I mean, it look, it's a good looking gun if you like muzzleloader pistols. But I mean, it looks good. It looks just like any break action that CVA would make. And all CVA's muzzleloaders seem to be pretty good. Give it a good cleaning. Load me up a couple quick loads and let it set for the next few months. I don't know, I think it looks like 70 grains is gonna do pretty good after shooting it there. I mean, it reacted to my adjustments very good. And overall, I, I think that's all I can ask for in it. I wasn't expecting a, that good of a group out of this gun, but I think that it's gonna do excellent at 50 yards and in. I might shoot it at 100 or something just to see how it does, but I don't plan on shooting anything that far with it, but we'll get it. Hopefully get a kill on video using this later in the year.